Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you actually an older project that I've made. This project was more for uh, me learning some basics of Unity. It was, I did it I think about two years ago and it was the first time I did anything in U Unity. So this was a great learning experience, definitely. I followed some tutorials around and I actually contacted a guy on Fiverr to do some pixel art for this project. The pixel art turned out really, really great. Um, it was like a combination of this old school 16-bit style and um, and it had like a Gravity Falls vibe to it, which, which is like a style I really, really enjoyed. Uh, great series, by the way, you should definitely check it out. It's, uh, I think the guys made an amazing job there. And so what I wanted to do most was um, like this 2D uh, walk animation and um, it's sort of like a 2D platformer, but uh, I want it to be really, really dialogue heavy. So as far as I ended up taking this project was to set up the arm spinner and uh, try out a couple of, um, of dialogues that I script into NPCs. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, you can actually test out talking to people. So the game starts up near a fire scene and we can walk around and it's like <laughs> this creepy vibe deep in the woods. We don't know who this guy is, don't know what he's doing, but he's holding a flashlight and you can walk around and it kind of works. It's not the coolest implementation of a flashlight, but it gets the job done. And um, the game is called Camping in the Yard and I didn't really take it any further than that, but it's a good start, I think. Mostly I made it to, to learn about Unity, but it, I think it came out like a nice atmospheric thing. So, as we come to the right, we, we see the guy's house and we can actually go inside by hitting the action button on the door. So, he goes inside. Now he's in the living room and we see some stairs and the kitchen and there's a small living room and upstairs you can see the entire house. It's like a little diorama here. So we can walk up the stairs and let's talk to one of the NPCs. Cute little bedroom. Check out how you go through the door. It's cute. And uh, yeah, we can go even upstairs in the attic. I think this guy made a really cool uh, pixel art. I, I still can't believe how much he's done. I actually contacted him on Fiverr. I never knew anything about him, but, but I really recommend you check him out. And let's talk to this NPC right here. Hey Claire. Oh hi. What are you up to? I was about to feed Marcus. Could you bring me his ball? I'm not sure where I left it. Sure, I'll look for it. Please hurry. Marcus gets quite fussy when he's hungry. And you can even go over the dog. He has a cute little walk cycle and sometimes he sits down on his butt and wiggles it. A cute pixel art, and they can talk to him. Goes like pan pan pan. Who's a good boy? And Marcus says nothing. You are, yes, you are, and all that. Woof. So basically, what Claire told us: Did you find Marcus's ball? It should be downstairs somewhere. Not yet. I'm still looking for it. So the texts are done with the arm spinner. It's you can check that out. Pretty cool little tool. And uh, here, next to the fridge, there's this small ball, which we can pick up. Ah, there it is, Marcus's ball. I should take it to Claire. And as soon as you do that, the little ball icon appears in your pockets. So, let's go upstairs and give it to Claire. You found it. I will feed Marcus right away. And this is basically the point where the demo ends. This is as far as I got. So, uh, yeah, it was a lot of work, but it's uh, invaluable the amount you learn when you actually try to do something rather than just do fix tutorials. It's like you decide on something you want to make, like, for example, this little flickering animation at the bottom. 
Like I can go down and if you see in the kitchen, I don't know when he'll do it because it's very discreet. But um, like let's say you wanted to make a tiny, this tiny flicker that just happened. Uh, you just start out and you start out looking for stuff to help you in that direction. So it has been quite a while since I looked into the source code for this thing. Uh, let's see what we have here. So yeah, I think I go to sprite editor. Okay. And yeah, here we have the player. Oh, that's cool. It is four little animation sprites. Let's see what else we have here. So I think we have the characters where we can find Claire's standing animation. Here's Marcus, <laughs> the multiple uh, sprites where he's wagging his tail. And if I remember correctly, let's see sound effects. Oh, that's cool. Post processing, nice ball. Okay, we have the little ball. And some UI stuff. And let's take a look here more. Okay. So I see I used uh, these are. This is a sound trigger. Okay. And uh, let's see. So here's the house. There's all sorts of sound triggers depending on on uh, where you stand. Some lighting effects. I actually quite remem remember working on this lighting right here. I actually had to make a little script for it to flicker. If we look in the game, if, um, if I go into the house, let's see, it's to walk up to it. So I... And you see that this little, this little light should flicker soon. Like has like a random timer on it of course when you're looking at it it's not doing anything <laughs> usually it's good when you make things quite discreet it's it's important for it to be there but not to overpower your scene so this game we have this this collision where where you can't um can fall through the ground but even though it's only just sprite a repeating sprite in the background that makes up the ground uh, what I ended up doing is I think I have like this uh, rigid body and the collider here for which I um, actually went ahead and drew a polygon or, or a line all over the zones that are supposed to be collisions so <clears throat> basically there will be a trigger point outside the door for you to teleport inside and then you can continue over here but you cannot jump jump over these green lines so if you want to go upstairs you actually have to come to another collider point right here and um, when you press the action button it will again teleport you upstairs so this concludes the demo of this little game that i made a couple of years back uh, my message is for you guys anyone listening just go out, start doing stuff, have fun with it. Don't worry too much about what you're going to end up doing with it. Even though, even though if you make something in the end, you have that forever. You make sure you put it on a nice little backup disk, maybe publish it in the internet on your private little server. And uh, yeah, you can come back to it years later and still, still see something cool you've made. So this concludes this episode. Uh, join me again next time and have fun making games. Have a lovely day.